British boffin Roger Shawyer, developed more than 15 years ago a new type of space propulsion, compared now with the impulse drive on board the Starship Enterprise in Star Trek. Even though he was originally mocked and laughed at for his bold claims he never stopped believing in it. The ridicule he received for this invention was because of the principle of physics that states, if an object is moving forwards there is a force pushing the object in the other direction, that this engine seems to defy. After a scientist in Germany managed to prove the performance of this type of engine, now, after almost two decades, NASA scientists say that the technology could work and that they will study the invention. Nevertheless, we do observe thrust close to the actual predictions after eliminating many possible error sources that should warrant further investigation into the phenomena, said Professor and Space Chair for Space Systems at the Dresden University of Technology, Martin Timmer. Our test campaign cannot confirm or refute the claims of the M-Drive, but intends to independently assess possible side effects in the measurements methods used so far. This technology could permit us to take a trip to the moon in just four hours and to Mars in less than 30 days. The technology in a nutshell converts electrical energy from solar panel to thrust by generating multiple microwaves that are then enclosed into a changer and move back and forth, generating propulsion without ever needing a drop of rocket fuel. Another big fan of this type of propulsion is Dr. Harold White who after doing some theoretical testing declared that this engine could work, but the reason why, is still a bit of a mystery. Dr. White theorized that the, new propulsion compared to impulse drive from the Star Trek Enterprise spaceship could obtain that thrust due to virtual particles in the quantum vacuum that behave like propellant ions in magnetohydrodynamical propulsion systems, extracting fuel from the very fabric of space-time and eliminating the need to carry propellant.